damn weird. Desire Maru Sea Monster. Also known as the Zaru Maru Carcass. The Zaru Maru Sea Monster was caught by the Japanese fishing trawler of the same name off the coast of New Zealand in 1977. The carcass's particular appearance led to speculation that it might be the remains of a sea monster or a prehistoric plesiosaur. On April 25, 1977, the Japanese trawler east of Christchurch, New Zealand, caught a strange unknown creature in its trawl. The crew was convinced it was an unidentified animal, but despite the potential biological significance of the curious discovery, the captain, Akira Tanaka, decided to dump the carcass into the ocean again, as to not risk spoiling the catch of fish. However, before some photos and sketches were taken of the creature, nicknamed Nessie by the crew, measurements were taken, and some examples of skeleton, skin, and fins were collected for further analysis by experts in Japan. The discovery resulted in immense commotion and a plesiosaur scare in Japan and the shipping companies ordered all of its boats to try to relocate the dumped corpses, but with no apparent success. Professor Takio Shikama from Yokohama National University was convinced the remains were of a supposed extinct plesiosaur. Dr. Fujiro Yasada from Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology agreed with Shikama. The photographs show the remains of a prehistoric animal. However, other scientists were more skeptical. According to Bengt Schwergen, Swedish paleontologist Hans Christian Bjering was soon interviewed by Swedish news agencies and said, if it's true that the Japanese collected samples of fins and skin, it would be possible to conclude from a microscope what it is, if it would be shown to be a hitherto unknown animal from the sea it is as big a sensation as the discovery of the coelacanth in 1938. But there is reason to be suspicious of the claims of plesiosaurs. For example, as the marine environments and fauna changed drastically since the plesiosaur existed on Earth. Another Swedish scientist, Ove Pearson, was also critical of the plesiosaur interpretation. He recalled other discoveries of similar dead marine creatures resembling the plesiosaur that on closer inspection revealed them to be just decomposed, unusually large sharks. He also added the discovery of the coelacanth was not as strange as if the plesiosaur would be discovered. The plesiosaur is much bigger and breathes with lungs. It seems incredible that it would manage to remain hidden. A team of Japanese scientists from the Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technologies and Ikkyo Abada from the National Museum of Nature and Science, as well as Toshio Ikura from the Atmosphere and Ocean Research Institute at the University of Tokyo jointly concluded, while the identity of the carcass could not be determined, with certainty the carcass was most likely that of a large shark. On July 28, 1977, the Zaramuyu carcass was commented upon in the international science magazine New Scientist. A scientist from the Natural History Museum in London had the same opinion as Berzing and Pearson, that the remains were not of a plesiosaur. Decomposition patterns of the basking shark, whose spine and brain case is relatively high calcified for a cartilaginous fish, can be expected to produce a similar shape to a plesiosaur. The first part of the fins fall off during decomposition are the lower jaw, the gills area, and the dorsal and caudal fins. Of the view that the carcass was explained as a plesiosaur, it is the infamous old Stronson beast that once again haunted like on innumerable other occasions. The scholars in Japan went into the same easy trap as the scholarly naturalists did in the 19th century. Although several scientists insist it was not a fish whale or any other mammal, analysts later in indicated it was most likely the carcass of a basking shark by comparing the number of sets of amino acids in the muscle tissue. Decomposing basking shark carcasses lose most of their lower head area and the dorsal and the caudal fins first 
making them definitely resemble a plesiosaur. Thank you.